Hello friends, welcome to Code Chef. This is Suraj, and in this video, let us discuss this problem: take discount or not from starters 40. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, there are n shops, n items in the shop. Uh, you know that the price of ith item is AI, and you want to buy all the n items. There is also a discount coupon which cost rupees X and reduces Y rupees from every item. So if the price of an item is less than or equal to Y then that item will be available for free okay so here we need to determine rather we should buy the discount coupon or not so here it is given that chef will buy discount coupon if and only if total price he pay after buying a discount coupon is strictly less than the price he would pay without uh, without buying the discount coupon so total with coupon if total with coupon is less than original total that is total without coupon then then only chef will buy coupon so in that situation we will print coupon or else we will print no coupon in the output so now let's see the input and output structure so in the input first of all we will get total number of test cases then for each test case we will get two lines in the first line first of all we will have three integers these are n x and y so n represents the total number of elements in the uh, total number of items in the shop and here x represents the cost price of the coupon and y represents the pi, uh, price which will be reduced from each from, from each and every item after purchasing the coupon then on the next line we will get the price of all the n items in the shop and in the output we need to print only one line for each test case uh, rather we should buy coupon or not now let's see the test cases so here we are considering first test case so in the first test case there are total four items and the cost price of coupon is 30 and after the uh, after purchasing the coupon we'll get a discount price of rupees 10 on each product okay so here is the total price uh, total uh, cost without coupon so we'll just add 15 8 22 and 6 so we'll get total is equals to 51 then after purchasing the coupon we'll get a discount price of rupees 10 on each product so i subtracted 10 from each product here you can see and also we'll need to add the cost price of coupon so i have added x here okay now it is given that uh, if the product if the cost price of product is less than or equal to uh, y value the value of y then we'll get that product for free so here uh, you'll get this product for uh, product for free because the cost price is rupees 8 so instead of writing a negative number here we'll uh, write 0 similarly here instead of writing a negative number here we'll write 0 okay and uh, the, the after applying the coupon the cost price of this first product will be 5 and and the second product will be 12 and uh, we'll also consider the cost of this coupon which is rupees 30 and the total that is 5 plus 12 plus 30 will come out to be 27 so uh, the total price with coupon is less than total total price without coupon so in this in this case we will purchase coupon similarly you can check other test cases the approach in this problem is really simple we'll calculate the total price with coupon and total price without coupon and if the total price with coupon is strictly less than total price without coupon then we'll purchase the coupon or else we'll not purchase the coupon i hope you understood the logic now let's see the implementation in c so here first of all we'll accept t the total number of test cases then i will call solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all i'm accepting these three integers the value of n x and y and then here i am accepting the price of each and every product that is the price of n products in this shop and i'm storing this in vector a then here i'm calculating the uh, cost price without applying coupon so that i'll store in this variable cost and here i'm using the stl function accumulate to calculate the sum of the values in this array and then here i'll calculate the cost price after applying coupon so i will initialize the total uh, total price with discount is equals to x because here we'll also have to consider the cost price of our coupon and then here i'll iterate through the array and i will subtract the uh, price of that particular product with y and i'll take the maximum uh, value of this and zero to avoid uh, to avoid adding any negative value uh, in our sum and then after this for loop uh, the total price uh, after applying discount coupon will be stored in this variable then we'll directly compare if the total is 
if, if the total with discount is less than if st is strictly less than the total without discount then we'll apply coupon or else will not apply coupon here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i'm accepting t the total number of test cases then i'm calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all i will accept the value of this variables n x and y here n is the total number of items in the shop x is the price of the coupon and y is the discount which will be applicable on each and every product after purchasing the coupon and here a uh, is uh, this uh, this list will contain the cost price of each and every item in the shop so first of all we'll calculate the sum uh, that is the total price without applying coupon and here uh, i'll do this by calling this inbuilt function sum which will return the sum of the elements in this array a and i'll store this in vector uh, in variable total then here i'll calculate the total after applying discount coupon so i will initialize this by uh, with x because here we will also need to consider the cost price of our coupon and then i'll iterate through each uh, to the element uh, through each and every element and i'll do uh, subtract uh, subtract the cost price of that particular element uh, by uh, y this will give us the discounted price and also we'll take the maximum with zero because here we need to avoid getting uh, avoid uh, adding negative values because if the price is less than or equal to y then that product is available for free okay so after this for loop uh, the total price with discount will be saved in this variable then we'll just simply compare if the total with discount is less than the original total that is total without uh, without coupon then we'll purchase coupon or else we'll not purchase coupon so i hope you understood the logic and implementation in both c and python in case you have any doubt feel free to write in the comments so let's meet in another video thank you so much